Good early morning, everyone. We are on our way to our home away from home, the airport, and we're getting ready for another exciting adventure. So we'd love for you to travel along with us. Unfortunately, there is no room left in all the suitcases we brought along. However, through the magic of the internet, you can travel along with us by following our stories today. We're gonna to be throwing up a bunch of Instagram polls all day long and let you guys tell us what you think we should do today. So you'll have to stay tuned to find out our destination, but we're gonna give you some hints about what we're gonna be doing through the questions that we're going to ask, and then we'll let you decide what we do today. Whatever you decide is what we will do today. So maybe Jared and Janine from Vocation.com and at Vocation on your favorite social media channel. Today we are here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida and we are headed to, if you can see the sign back there beside Jared, Flamingo Gardens. It is a botanical gardens and wildlife preserve. We're gonna get to see some flamingos, we're gonna get to see some plants, some flowers and take a little tram through the Florida Everglades. So let's go check it out. You are a camera hog. I'm talking to your friend up here. Say, what's the white one? Hi, the female it's... umbrella cockatoo. She's named Gracie. Gracie. She says hello. Hello. Pretty bird and barks like a dog. Pretty bird. Hello. Hello. Gracie, I hear you talk. You don't want to talk to us? Are you shy? We haven't even gone inside and paid admission yet and there's already all these birds out here. Like this is so cool. If you're local, you just wanna come over and check out the birds. There's peacocks roaming. Everything else is in cages and they ask for you not to put your fingers in the cage, of course. So, or feed the animals. Nice covered picnic area. This would be a great event for a school trip. It's a smoothie bar, but it's not open. We work for the Visitors Bureau here and we got hooked up with a two for one summer savings. Realize summer's almost over, but it does go through September 30th of 2019. So it actually gives um, two for one admission for Flamingo Gardens and a bunch of the other things that we're gonna do while we're here in Fort Lauderdale, including possibly dinner tonight if you guys decide that we're going to a luau. Again, we're letting Instagram choose our day, so we really don't know where we're gonna end up. Uh, but I'm gonna head on in here and get our two for one admission. I think she said his name was Tiki. Some, yeah, something like that, I think. He's so cool. He's got a cage all to himself. I know, and he's got a big cage too. You're like the main attraction here. You're right up front, buddy. Jared got so many compliments on his awesome flamingo t shirt. Already. to catch the tram here in about 15 minutes. The tram takes us through the complex, through the gardens, little tour, and out into some of the Everglades here in this part of Fort Lauderdale. Are you ready for your tram ride through the Everglades? 
I heard it's very dangerous. There might be gators. There's definitely peacocks. Definitely peacocks. I was gonna say they're everywhere, which is and pretty cool. Flamingos. <laughs> I have flamingos. Yes, flamingos. It's important to know. The it gets very bumpy along the trail. The back seats are the bouncy. Yes, it might even feel like a little roller coaster at times. So, we the first of last year. It is the first flamingo born here at the gardens. The smaller white birds are American white ibis. And when you follow that con. Behind the ray home, you'll see a white peacock. It's a leucistic peacock. Yeah, yeah. Here we have the peahens, are the females with the dark brown feathers and the green neck. We do have some pea chicks roaming around as well, so keep an eye out for those baby chicks. Behind the ray home is a national tree of India. That's the banyan tree, also wow. known as a walking tree. Behind right the there, that's not what I was Flowers, fruit, seeds, and insects, but all the ants stop, there's that purple bud. A banana plant will only fruit once and then it dies. So the roots send out new plants. And the leaves are used for cooking, wrapping, storing, and serving. So this is this is the chocolate the plant. Avocado tree, you look up, you should see some fruit and oh, more bananas. You'll see those um, oh, yeah. new And then over uh, here, the skinny guy is the avocado the tree. Suckers or shoes. So chocolate. There's a banana plant. Avocado. Now the brown Aww. birds with the pink leg. People bring them here. Most of the time they're orphaned or they're injured. If it has a minor injury, you will rehabilitate it and release it back into the water. Now they're all free to leave at any time. But they stay. They love it here so much. They stay for the free food. <laughs> goes around. Yeah. All the animals. Oh my goodness. She wasn't kidding. It is really, really bumpy. We're in the back. Very bumpy. In the water, you'll see uh, the spatter dock lily pads. And dragonflies are flying around because they lay there. Eggs. Oh, 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 the way oh, 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 oh
A champion tree? It says, well, it just that might be the name of it. Yeah, this specimen is the largest known for its type in the state of Florida because of the climate requirements for it to grow. It may well be the largest in the continental U.S. Yeah, it's huge. That's a big guy. I can look at these roots. I have a size five shoe and these roots are ginormous. Yeah, it is hard to put into perspective how wide this thing is. Jared's 6'3", with a pretty large wingspan. And it is, stay there. It is. probably four feet in each direction. I mean, this thing is probably like 12 to 15 feet, you know, diameter. Than me, is it? It's a lot bigger. <laughs> How much taller than me is it? It goes up quite a ways. Really big tree. Really cool. <gasps> Panthers. I feel very Jurassic Park right now with the wall and the glass and... Oh, take a picture, send that to your mom, so we found those twins. Oh, that looks like our puppy. She looks just like that. Look at your paws. They are mm -hmm. ginormous. Oh my God, if you guys can see their paws, they are so big. Laying in the pool dirt. Yeah, just like our Chloe would. Yeah. Although Chloe is a dog, she looks just like this panther. So the Flamingo Gardens is very careful to mention that they are not a zoo. They are in fact a wildlife sanctuary. So most of their birds and animals are permanently injured and not releasable. Did you enjoy your tour? Yeah. It was a quick tour. They say they end up at the Flamingo Pond anyway when you come around. Step on the little babies. Oh my goodness, there they are. <laughs> It's so cute how they stay with her. Oh my gosh, he's cool. Look at his head, he's got such a crazy head. There's a little uh. buffet there of fish. <laughs> uh. What kind of birds are you? You are fish crows. Uh. Some of the fish crows in this habitat are imprinted and have learned to speak. Hi. Uh. Hello. Uh. Hello. Hello. Uh. What's up? Uh. How are you? These are some of the phrases uh. that they've learned to speak. Not feeling very talkative today. We spotted this tree from the tram. This is the official tree of India and it is massive. This is what we came for. Oh my god, they see me and they're like, we'll take the small one out. 
Eat the little guys. They're hungry. Please don't, please don't come at me. I was gonna say they're gonna land on your head. <laughs> it sounds really noisy. Yeah. The other ones don't make a sound. This is exactly the type of turtle that we used to look have. Look how big his head is. I know. Wally would look just like that. He used to bite our fingers. Like, if these guys bit your finger, yeah, I think he could probably do some damage. Oh, for sure. Like that, that thing is huge. Look at him. Look how big his head is. So fun story, I went on spring break one time and came home, I came here to Florida, I was in Daytona Beach at the Daytona Beach Flea Market and I picked up a red-eared slider. Not knowing it was a red-eared slider. I didn't know anything about it, I literally was just like, oh that's a cute turtle, I was at a flea market, it was $5, the man sold me this tiny turtle, it was this big, the size of a quarter and a tiny bag of what looked like dog food and a little hermit crab cage and said, he'll be fine, that's what he eats. And I'm like, you don't have to do anything. You know, I was really concerned and you know, asked like, what kind of turtle is he? No information at all. He said, you know, he'll stay that size forever. I came home to Jared and Jared's like, what did you do? What is this? What kind of turtle is it? So he did some research. He found out it was a red-eared slider and then we had to go out and buy a aquarium because he was semi-aquatic all kinds of food. Actually, he late ate um, raw worms, so like fishing worms for a couple of years, I guess. Minnows, worms, dry food. Yeah, we... we had to get a filter system, a heat lamp. It was a lot more stuff. than $5, let's just say that. And uh, we had Wally for a number of years. He got to be bigger than my hand. Um, these guys are way bigger than he ever got to be. Yeah, but there's a couple in here that are about the size that he was. Okay. Um, but then we had to give him up, unfortunately. Um, our apartment in college, we weren't allowed these to have him. kicked him back into the water. So we donated him to, um, you know, have a family that would be able to care for him. And we don't know what happened to Wally, but every time we see red-eared sliders, we always think about him. And this would be a great place for him if we were able to, at the time, you know, road trip him down here and release him. Dude, the, the brown one is going crazy. He's hungry. Last one. All gone. Okay. Happy he's, lunch. He's like, that's unacceptable. <laughs> I'm sorry. You look like you are well fed. Yeah. It's time for me to eat now. I'm hungry. All natural smoothies. So small is $4, large is $5, and then they have these flavors. You can mix two of any kind for no additional cost, and there's no limitation to whatever mixture you want. Strawberry banana, you can never go wrong with. It's always good. Yeah. Now, if you want a sweet and sour, mango lemonade, strawberry lemonade. Strawberry sweet. lemonade sounds amazing. Let's, okay. Let's do that. No problem. And you guys came at an interesting time. This is our, um, this is our uh, hurricane season. So, we don't get a lot of people coming to visit. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're actually scheduled to go cruise on Sunday. But we figured we'd spend a couple of days kind of trotting around Fort Lauderdale. And well, thank you for visiting us. We really appreciate it. So, we just got finished our tour of the Flamingo Gardens. 
We went on the tram ride. We saw smooth. the we got a smoothie. It's really good. Very refreshing because it is how hot outside? 95, but it's not 95. 92, but it's like 106 with the humidity. Yeah, it's really hot. But it's a lot of shade here, so it's been nice. It is, and the tram ride was cool because you know there was airflow and it was open air, which was nice. What did you like the most? It was very informational. I mean, mm -hmm. she uh, pointed out a lot of the trees and a lot of the plants and all the animals and stuff that we saw along the way. And there were points where you could get off and kind of do your own explore. I mean, you could walk the entire tram area and probably, you know, it's probably maybe oh, two yeah. miles. Oh yeah, yeah, if you're, you know, don't mind the heat, you know, like to walk, like it's beautiful. Um, yeah, Mango Grove, where they grow a bunch of mangoes. And yeah, it, this is a really, really beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to come and have a wedding down here, oh my, yeah. this is perfect. So I really thought it was cool to interact with the flamingos. Um, they really enjoyed the food once we woke them up from their nap. And I love the smoothies. And it's just, it's really nice that all the animals here are rescued, endangered, nothing is zoo-ish about it. Everybody looks happy, all the animals look happy, the staff is really nice. It's a non-profit, so. Yeah. You know, they have exhibits and stuff like that too, where they'll bring animals out and kind of teach you about them. No, we didn't, we missed that, I think it was like at 11.30. Yeah, there was an 11.30 show. I don't know if there's any other there's, ones or not. There's but. shows later in the afternoon. We're trying to do so much in our short time here in the Fort Lauderdale area and uh, unfortunately we're not gonna get to see the show, but they do explain a little bit more about what they do here, where each of the animals came from. All of the different exhibits tell you about the animals, which is really nice. Like Jared said, it is so educational, which is nice. That's gonna do it for us. We're gonna wrap up our smoothie here, and then we're gonna check our Instagram to see where we're headed next, and stay tuned for that vlog. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Loops around to the bobcats and alligators, turtles, bingo babies, river otters, American black bear, and the boa constrictor snake.